Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk about a really simple concept, which is voltage dividers. But uh, first I just want to apologize for the lack of videos the last couple weeks. I've got family medical issues that I'm currently taking care of and um, family comes first. So once it resolves itself, we'll be back to normal. In the meantime, I'll make uh, videos as often as I can for you. All right. So first of all, we're not going to get real deep into voltage dividers. I've got videos on that in my basic electricity and electronics playlist. You can go check them out anytime you want. This is the most simple type of voltage divider. We are using two resistors of the same value from positive to ground and at the point where they meet in the center we should get half the voltage. Okay? So if you take a look over here you can see we are putting 12 volts into this. Now what I have here are three separate voltage dividers that are each 50%. These are two 1K, two 10K, and 200K resistors. So let me bring in a meter. And we'll hook up here to our ground point. And you can see up here in the positive rail, if I can get on it. Oh, hold on, plugging in the wrong part. There we go. Okay, up here at our positive rail, 12 volts. And that's, of course, the same across all of our resistors. Now, when we come down here to the point where they meet, since the resistors are the same value, we're getting half. Six volts. Six volts. And awfully close to six volts. So what's the difference? Why would you use higher value or lower value resistors in your voltage divider? Well, it's all about current. So I've got this... Uh, power supply here set for half amp max and if we put a load on our voltage divider this is a 10 watt uh, 10 ohm resistor and I'm going to take our meter and put it over here to milliamps we'll connect one side of the meter to one side of the resistor the other side of the resistor we will plug into the junction at our voltage divider and from our 1k what's going on there all oh, my micro amps there we go we're getting 12.7 milliamps in the hole there you go from our 10k we get 1.2 milliamps so you're seeing uh about a factor of 10 a little more but you know close enough factor of 10 about a factor of 100 and then we come over here to our 100k and we're getting 0.1 milliamp again a factor of 10 we've increased the resistance of our resistors by a factor of 10 and we've decreased the current carrying capability or current handling capability of our voltage divider by 10. Does it mean you can't drive it more? No, it certainly does not. But that should just give you a basic idea of voltage dividers and how the value of the resistor in itself is inherent into the current handling capability of the circuit. So that's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. And a big thanks to you guys for watching. I wouldn't be here if you weren't watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.